So now let's perform SALA. Operation SALA. Apple iOS. This is the brand new iPad 8th generation. The 8th generation iPad. That's awesome. How we can set up it. We can see now we have to push the home button down below. If we push that, we can choose our language or where we are. Let's take English. Our destination, our country, our origin, as you like. Choose your language, choose your country. This is the first step to set up the right language and the right location for your iPad. Eight generation. Now we can choose quick start. This brings our current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in and set up. If you have another iPad or an iPhone, take it over here or here or there or there and then it should be have a quick start. This is a really awesome option. But we are now performing setup manually. Write in spoken language. This is English in my case. You can choose what you like. Then we have to choose a Wi-Fi network. It is po impossible. It is really possible, not impossible. It is really possible to choose your Wi-Fi network. And it is important to choose a Wi-Fi network because our iPad likes to call Apple. And it has to be called to Apple. Calling to Apple means unlocked iPad. Now choose your Wi-Fi. Now you have to enter a password of your Wi-Fi. This you can uh, become from your admin or under underneath your router in the most cases. Enter the password and push join. Join baby. Now we join our Wi-Fi network. It may take a few minutes to activate our iPad. This is a standard situation. It is normally that this costs you a couple of seconds. Maybe if your internet, your Wi-Fi internet connection is fast, it should be done quickly. So data and privacy. This icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. Okay, continue. Now we can use our fingerprint with Touch ID to uh, lock with your Apple iPad and your ID. That means we have to um, program now our fingerprints here. That means we have to place our fingerprints. Fingerprints, home button, press a little bit, only place it, lift, place it, lift. Place it, baby. Lift it up. Place it. And again. And this is a little finger workout here. While we are... Oh, move the fingers. Okay. Now the sights and the tips. Sight and tips action. Oh, yeah. That's nice. So, finger moved. Don't move your finger too long. Job's done now. Here we are. So now a little bit more. And our fingerprint is now programmed, safe to the iPad. Okay, again, <sighs> OMG, now it is, yeah. So now adjust your grip, keep going to capture the edge of the print. That's awesome. <sighs> now it's an edge version here, so much fingerprint detection is necessary to come into our iPad. Oh, face ID is really easier than that fingerprint profit here. Okay, completed. Now we have to enter a pass code. The Touch ID provides the convenience and secure of the fingerprint access. Occasionally, our passcode will be required for validation. Okay, let's choose one, two, three, four. Uh, what, 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 what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, this passcode can be easily cursed. That is not your passcode, okay? You will choose another 
a better one. Use anyway. Again, 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 again. So, re-enter our passcode, job's done. Now the next setting is apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to that iPad. Restore from iCloud backup. If you have another iPad or another iPhone or an iMac, you can restore it from the backup. Then restore from a Mac or personal computer, transfer it directly from iPad or move data from Android. Woo! We are going to don't transfer apps and data. Now it's time to a new Apple ID for you, or you can use your existing Apple ID too, no problem. If you have no Apple ID, then push there, forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. But if you have an Apple ID, the Apple ID is the key to enter into the Apple world. Now Apple ID and password is to um, get in here to move forward. So here you can see I entered my Apple ID and my password and of course the key which we uh, which Apple sent me to my Apple Watch. So next terms and conditions read all of the text then agree if you like or disagree then you cannot uh, enter into the Apple world. It's it's up to you. Now it may takes a few minutes to set up our Apple ID. That means now the Apple ID informations will be um, saved. Your background informations of your completely Apple ID will um, will back out, etc. Now enter the phone passcode. This is a really security, awesome security thing from Apple. Enter the passcode you use to unlock the iPhone. Uh, 6S from from Mac. Ooh, this protects our Apple ID in another step. This is really awesome. But if you do not have another um, Apple device, this will not come at your setup. Now I have to enter my iPhone 6S passcode here. Then we can continue. You can see now the Apple server will uh, look that the passcode of my iPhone 6s is entered here in the new iPad 8 generation generation now we get some information keep your iPad up to date get the latest feature security improvement by updating the iOS automatically okay location services if you like them then enable if you dislike them disable the location services but if you are going to use uh, the, the whole bunch of functions of your iPad, you should enable location services, okay? But it's up to you. You can choose by your own what's the right thing. Apple Pay. If you are going to use Apple Pay with your MasterCard, with your Wheeler, with your American Express as well, you can now enter your Apple Pay here. But we will set up it later. With Apple Pay, you can pay. Oh, yay! Screen time. This is an awesome thing. Get a weekly report with insight about our screen time and set the time limits for apps you want to manage. Continue. It's awesome. It's, it's one, uh, one a week. Once a week, you will get some information. iPad Analytics. If you like to help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage data from our iPad, you can share or don't share. Now, the next step is appearance. Select the light or dark um, appearance and see how iOS adjusts depending on which we are going to choose. We can choose dark mode or the light mode. In the dark mode, everything is a little bit dark and cool. Light is a little bit more gay, as you can see. Welcome to iPad. Get started. Now we are in. Ooh, that was easy, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now you can move with your fingers over the IRS easily. You can swipe a little bit. You can see the witches here. You have temperature, witness day, date, 
you have to see how much power your battery contains. You have a map, you have some other things, what you like, news. Then you have here FaceTime, to make FaceTime um, calls. You have a calendar, a clock, a home. This is for smart home. Photos, camera, reminders, notes, voice, voice memes. Let's have a meme. Let's do that now to hear how good um, the sound of your know, new iPad is working. So that is my voice. And it is now brings your iPad voice to you. <laughs> okay, let's hear. So that is my voice. And it is now brings your iPad voice to you. Ha ha ha, that was funny, isn't it? It was a good, good, good voice. So contacts, maps, find my, there you can find all the entire Apple devices um, which, which, which you contain. App store with a, with a really much apps out there, books to reading, podcasts, television stocks, measure settings. Here are photo booths, shortcuts, iTunes store and tips as you like. And you can see now, that is awesome. Here, um, internet, here is um, iTunes, mail, data. And of course, here's the last uh, used app. If we rotate the iPad 90 degrees, as you can see, it ro rotates to um, with you. Now we can go there. Awesome, isn't it? So let's go to the internet, for example. Here's the internet. And Gacer is too, really awesome. Let's have a look. We go to the internet, Gacer, swipe, and here you can see we are in the um, app choosing mode, okay? And what's really awesome is, we can go here, make a new tab, for example, use that tab, slide it to the right, and we have two-way using here, favorites, etc. Yeah, that's awesome. Of course, you can do that with other apps too. For example, let's look, and look here, Zach, here is our record, yeah, our recordings, here is the internet services. We can swipe it away and we can easily bring it back. Go down, bring it back. Really awesome, as you can see. To delete all apps in the background, go up and swipe upward. Ooh, that's awesome. So let's have a look at the camera options. Here is the camera. Okay, let's do it. Here is an Apple label. The camera comes with video, with slow motion, with time lapse. It comes with photos, square, panorama, option two, square, awesome. And we can um, choose the other side of camera system. This is the face ID cam, as you can see. Ooh, this is a good guy here. Sexy, sexy. This is only possible, not for a panorama, oh no. But it's possible to choose that camera here with square, photo, video. Slow motion is not possible, but time lapse. Time lapse, ooh, ooh, ooh. So that's awesome, isn't it? Then here, what's what's app? Two shutter video or a photo. Push there, photo. Live photo, enable or disable with that button. Here is a time shift. Here's flashlight that you can choose on the opposite side too. That's really nice. Awesome. So go back with the home button. And that is your new iPad 8th generation. It's really easy to set up and really easy to use, as you can see. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon, soon.